So, Echo Fox is selling their slot in the LCS, Riot still has to approve the sale, and Rick Fox is not happy about how things went down. I feel, I feel completely bent over. How the hell did we get here? All right, let's start from the beginning and work our way back to today. Back in April, Dexterdo's Richard Lewis reported that Rick Fox was trying to leave Echo Fox because of racist behavior and threats made by an investor in the company. Eventually, we found out that that shareholder was Amit Raizada, who admitted to using racial slurs in a conversation with Jace Hall, but denied threatening Rick Fox's family. Then, screenshots of emails that Raizada allegedly sent a leak showing him threatening Rick Fox's family. Surprise. Anyway, Rick Fox told TMZ that he would stay with Echo Fox if Rizado left, and then Riot stepped in, did their own investigation, and said that they'd give Echo Fox 60 days to remove Rizada. Flash forward to last week, and Riot extended the deadline one more week. Now, behind the scenes, things weren't going so well. According to Rick Fox speaking on his GG podcast, he and the other members of the core ownership group of Echo Fox spent that time searching for someone to buy the LCS slot without much success. Meanwhile, the outside investors in Echo Fox, who are also co-owners of the company, wanted to sell the org as a whole, not just the LCS slot, everything. Some of the investors wanted to sell the whole company, others didn't. So what we had to address was one of our assets, the League of Legends slot, was in jeopardy of being taken by Riot because Stop of it. the racist development. We had an investment bank. We had individuals in the GP uh, looking to figure out the solution of that, was not having success. We reached our deadline. Riot gave us an additional seven days. So I find myself with control, and I find myself with a seven-day window to find somebody to buy the asset or Echo Fox, because I had been, I was being pushed and what the people that were running the process were pushing for from the, some of the limited partners was a complete sale. On Tuesday, about a day after the deadline had passed, Riot announced that Echo Fox was selling their slot in the LCS. Shortly after, ESPN's Jacob Wolf reported that the buyer was Cronky Sports and Entertainment, the company that owns Arsenal, the Denver Nuggets, the LA Rams, and most importantly to esports fans, the Overwatch League's LA Gladiators. And on the podcast, Fox confirmed that report. He said he signed the deal on Tuesday and that it is in fact with the Cronky Group. Now, he didn't confirm the $30.25 million price tag, but he didn't deny it either, as his co-hosts on the show, including Jace Hall, mentioned it several times. Fox notes that the deal as it stands is for the LCS slot, which a lot of Echo Fox's value is tied up in. However, the Kronky Group is, quote, entertaining the purchase of Echo Fox. It's unclear if that full purchase of the org has happened or even if it ever will happen, but seemingly those conversations are going on behind the scenes. Now, before we get back to Fox and his future in esports, Riot sent us a statement and there's some brand new information in here. Now, we reached out and we got this statement from Chris Greeley, the LCS commissioner, who told us, we're working diligently to minimize disruption to Echo Fox players and staff for the 2019 season in partnership with the LCS Players Association. If LCS rejects the proposal, Echo Fox has agreed that LCS will be taking over the sale process for the slot. Our goal is to make sure we have an orderly transition and a new team ready for the 2020 season. Now, this doesn't give us a lot of new info, but it does reiterate that Riot still has to approve the sale. If Riot doesn't approve, they'll take over the sales process and that all this will be dealt with by the 2020 season. There are a few more statements we were received from Greeley though. The first is a pretty obvious one, that Riot didn't require Echo Fox to sell their slot, but that's how Echo Fox chose to comply. Riot didn't offer any further comment on an alleged proposal that saw Rizada transfer his shares to an entity owned by a family member of his, which is something that ESPN reported. The next thing Riot told us is that they have, quote, several areas to discuss with the potential ownership group, including getting an understanding of their plans around a team brand. So basically, Riot isn't sure what the new ownership group is gonna do with regards to keeping the Echo Fox branding or making up a new one. And finally, Greeley said that Rick Fox is always welcome at the LCS, which is a lovely sentiment, but I don't think anybody was worried about Riot not letting him into the studio to watch or something. But Rick Fox is not happy about how all this went down. Now, he's not mad at Riot or the community. In fact, he doesn't even say who he's mad at, but he's definitely upset. I feel, I feel completely bent over. I feel run over, I feel unappreciated by the entire group of, of investors. I feel numb, I feel angry, I feel attacked, I feel accused, I feel unappreciated, I feel
feel unheard. I feel angry. I feel disrespected. I feel sad. I feel confused. I feel blindsided. I feel exhausted. Exasperated. And honestly, that's everything we know right now. There are plenty of questions that go along with this. Like, who's gonna pay the rest of the franchise fee? How did the value of an LCS slot triple in the last two years? And what is the Kronky Group gonna do with the Echo Fox brand? But right now, I feel like the most important question is what's gonna happen to Rick Fox himself? The League of Legends community is probably losing Rick Fox as a part of the LCS. There's a chance he sticks around with a new org, I suppose, but that would require the Kronkies to keep him on as a brand ambassador or something, and that just seems unlikely. I said this last time we talked about this whole mess, but Rick Fox has been really, really good for esports. It was a shame when it seemed like we were gonna lose him because of some racist jerk, and it's a shame when it seems we're gonna lose him now. And Rick Fox doesn't even know his own future in League of Legends or esports, which is pretty rough considering how much of a pillar he's been for the scene in the last few years. So what are you thinking? What's next for, for Mr. Fox? Like, well, and, and I, I hear your question, and I do not know. Thanks for watching. If you want more content like this, hit the sub button and ring that notification bell. For unique bite-sized videos you won't find anywhere else, hit up our Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook pages.